everybody, I'm Nitin and today in this PSLE 2016 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 15. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So let's jump straight into question 15. So this is question 15, it is testing us on volume, okay? So let's read the question first. A rectangular block X was cut along the dotted line into two smaller rectangular blocks of equal height, Y and Z, as shown below. The volume of Z is 1470 cm cubed more than that of Y. Peter, so part A. What is the height of each block? So let's do part A first. Before that, we should highlight the key information. So let's highlight that. So rectangular block, block X was cut along the dotted line into two smaller rectangular blocks of equal height y and z as shown below the volume of z is 1470 cube more than that of y what is the height of each block okay so basically we know the breadth is 10 cm okay so in order to do this we need to use a, a topic in P6 volume, which is uh, a concept in P6 volume that is height equals to volume divided by base area. Base area is basically length times breadth. Okay, but the only volume we have here is uh, Z minus Y. So basically what we need to do is, since the breadth is constant, I'm going to take 15 cm minus 8 cm, which is 7 cm. So we can draw another block here. So let me just draw something real quick. So see this tiny block. Okay, so this is the 7 cm and 10 cm over here. So this is the another block, which is uh, this volume is 100 and 1470 cm cube. Okay, so this is another block. So x, y, z. So before that, let me put w here. Okay. So now we need to use the concept height equals volume divided by base area so the volume is 1470 cm cube and the base area is 7 times 10 which is 70 cm square so now we just basically divide those two which will give us 21 cm so 21 cm is the height okay 21 21 21 21 cm is the height okay now i, I think you do not need this image anymore so I hope you understand for part A. Now it is part B. So part B, they are stat Peter packs six of block Z such that they fit exactly into a box with a square base. The box has the same height as Z. At most, how many block Y can be packed into such a box? So this is the box that I've drawn over here from this question. Okay, so let's highlight the key information first. Peter packs six of block Z such that they fit exactly into a box with a square base. The box has the same height as Z at most. How many of block Y can be packed into such a box? Okay, so they are asking us how many of block Y at most can be packed into this box that I've drawn here. So this might not look like a square base to you, but it is because 15 cm, the, the length over here, so basically it's block Z over here and maybe it looks shorter but just take it, it's not drawn to scale, okay? So 15 cm over here, 15 cm over here and this 10 cm, 10 cm, 10 cm add up to 30 cm and 15 plus 15 add up to 30 cm. So basically both of them are equal lengths. So a square base is true now, okay? So they are asking us, the box has the same height as Z, right? So basically it's 21 cm. So they are asking us, how many of block Y can be packed into such a box? Y is 8 cm each, okay? So for part B, we need to know the breadth of Y, which is 8 cm, and the breadth of the box is 30 cm. And the length of Y is 10 cm, and the length of the box is 30 cm, okay? So this is what we need to know. And then now, this is what I've drawn. This is like a, the top view you can see. Mm, just take it as the top view. So basically, this is the leftover area after putting in block Y inside. Okay? 
So basically, you can put one, two, three block wise in the length because 30 divided by 8, which is 3.75. So maximum 3. So 1, 2, 3. Okay? 2, 3. So on the length, it's can, it can only be fit 3, okay? You can only fit 3 in the length. But this leftover area, you can't fit any block inside. Okay, now we move on to the breadth. Okay, the breadth. We need to know how much can it fit on the breadth. So maximum on the breadth is 3. Okay. So now it is fit on the length again because this is basically a square. So, so maximum that fits on the length is equal to 3. So I changed these words over here, length and breadth, so that it will be easier for you for us to compare. So this is basically the breadth and this is basically the length. Breadth, length. Even though they are both supposed to be the length in the in squares, right? If they are square, right? That means that both of them are the length. It's length times length, not length times breadth. But so that you can compare, it's a length and a breadth. So over here, there's no remaining. Basically 30 divided by 10 cm, which will give us 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So it fits perfectly inside. Okay? So now, in order to find the number of block Y that fits in here, you should actually draw this here. Okay? So it's basically 3 blocks times 3 blocks, which will give us the number of blocks in here number of block y in here okay so to find the maximum block y in the box is basically 3 times 3 which is 9 so 9 is the answer for part b so i hope you understand my explanation for part a and part b of question 15 volume question and thank you and bye bye i'll see you in my next video bye